Flying a drone is super easy. You got two sticks. The one on the left makes it go up and down. The other one moves it around. It's just like that. You just like fly it around and that's basically all you need to know about it. Oh God, it's moving on its own. Why is it doing that? Oh my God, it's not supposed to do that. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, it's going towards the trees. Oh God, no. Oh God. No. Why? You said you had collision avoidance. This means my wife was right. It was a waste of money. Now I have to listen to I told you so for years. This can't possibly be my fault. I have to get revenge on the drone manufacturer. The only way I know how. Writing a one star review. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna give you eight practices that will get your hands and your mind ready to properly and safely fly a drone. I'm not gonna cover the specifics of your individual drone model and how the controls work because they're all a little bit the same and they're all a little bit different. Consult your local laws, be safe, don't fly near anyone, get a big area with lots of space between you and any trees that it might crash into and no people around, no kids, no dogs, they'll run towards your drone. You might hurt them, it'll screw you up, it'll distract you. Eight practices, the first practice, take off, fly around, and land. Let's do that. As you can see, my drone has caught its GPS configuration. You always have to let it warm up a little bit, consult your manual. You're gonna use the GPS's assistance for this first one. The left stick will let it take off just by pushing up. And then the right stick controls it. It is just like that game in GTA when you're flying a drone. Push it left and it goes left. Push it right and it goes right. Push it forward, it goes away. Push it back and it comes back towards you. You might notice that it drifts a little bit. It'll try to hold position, but it's never actually perfect. There's always some wind and stuff, so you might have to just fight that. So now you have those, those basic controls down. Notice I'm flying it at about eye level, maybe a little bit above. Plenty of room between you and the ground, but not too high up just yet. Come back and land. I don't have it landing on the grass because my grass is kind of long and sometimes it'll tip it over. Not a big deal, didn't hurt it or anything, but. Do that a bunch of times until you feel completely comfortable. Burn through at least a whole battery just doing that really basic stuff. Don't do anything adventurous yet. Don't go high, don't go near trees, none of that. For the next step, we're gonna do the same thing, except this time we're gonna turn the GPS off on this Phantom. It's the uh, switch over here on the right. I'll just flip that down. Check your manual to see exactly how it's done. With the GPS off, the drone's not gonna hold position for itself, but it's really important that you figure out how to fly it without the GPS because sometimes the GPS is gonna flake out. It's not gonna get a signal, something's gonna go wrong. You have to be able to fight the weather a little bit and feel comfortable with that. So I'm flying solo with no assistance here, and you can see it's just drifting off to the right. And that's just how drones work. It'll catch the wind. It'll actually make its own wind and push against the ground or trees. So it's never gonna hold precisely steady without the GPS and you need to feel comfortable with that. If it gets scary, if your heart rate starts to come up, if you've got a little bit of adrenaline going, put GPS mode back in. This is your safe place. If anything goes wrong, flip the GPS mode on and just let go of the controls. Whatever you do, if you start to get nervous, don't go jerking the sticks all around and freaking out. That's gonna make stuff worse. So turn the GPS back off, make sure you can fly around a little bit with it facing away from you still and then come back and land it and do that again and again with a GPS off just so you know how to handle the environment. Step three, we're turning the GPS back on and we're gonna to start to rotate it with that left stick by twisting it side to side. So I'll power it back up, take it off, fly it to about eye level, fly it out a little bit, give it plenty of room between me and it because I don't want to come back and crash it into me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees to the left and then straighten it back out. With its butt facing you, that's the safe place. That's easy because left is left, right is right, forward is forward, back is back. But when you have it at 90 degrees, all this starts to change. Suddenly right is away and left is towards me and forward is left and you have to get comfortable with that. Remember, you have to imagine yourself in the pilot seat of your drone. If you're inside it, this would actually be a lot easier. So get used to having it hover to the left and then spinning it back so the butt is facing you. Do this over and over again, 90 degrees left, 90 degrees back straight, and then when you get comfortable with that, go to the right. Spin it to the right, 
spin it back away from you. Spin it to the right, spin it back away from you. Spin it to the left, spin it back away from you. You're just twisting it to the side and then you're correcting that over and over again. Burn a couple of batteries doing this. I know it seems real simple, but you need to get completely comfortable. Then when you get comfortable with that, do it 180 degrees. Have it facing you completely and then spin it back away from you. If it starts to drift, bring it back over. Once it's facing away from you, 180 degrees towards me, 180 degrees away from me. I'm just using the left stick and I'm only steering it when it's facing, me, facing away from me. 180 degrees, 180 degrees. Back in for a landing. Once you feel completely comfortable with that, you don't feel nervous at all flipping it towards you and flipping it back, now you're ready to fly it side by side. Let's power it up. Especially if you're doing photography or videography, it's gonna be real helpful if you can rotate, if you can fly it sideways, because that way you can keep the camera facing forward and get different angles. It also means you'll be able to chase things. Really important videography techniques. So take it off, push it away in front of me, lots and lots of distance, because it might drift towards me and I don't want to crash into me. So now I'm facing it left and I'm going forward. I'm gonna let it come to a complete stop, then I'm turning it 180 degrees so it's facing to the right, and then I'm pushing forward. Just this, just back and forth. It's that simple. Try to do it faster and faster. Spend less and less time recovering at each side. And again, you're gonna get nervous at some point. Your heart rate's gonna go up. You might come close to something. Just go back to your safe place where the butt is facing you and let it rest. Come back and land. Burn through a couple of batteries, just getting completely comfortable going left and right. Once you get comfortable with that, tilt it to the left and just kind of practice flying it around a little bit. Not necessarily just forward and back, but you can move it side to side and make sure you're comfortable just changing position. Sw switch over so it's facing to the right and do the same thing. Make sure you're comfortable just moving it around. Pick a spot where you want it to go to and just fly to that nice and slow and then return it back to the main position. Rotate it back left. Get comfortable just hovering and flying around. Step five, flying towards you and away from you. Much harder than you think because once it's flying towards you, everything is gonna be reversed. Of course, it's still like you're in the cockpit, but when you push left, it's gonna go right. When you push right, it's gonna go left. Pushing up will make it fly towards you and pushing back will make it fly away from you. Just remember, everything is backwards. And if you get nervous, show yourself the butt, get back to your safe place. Let's take off. So I'm flying out. That part's easy, I know how to do that. Then I'm gonna get a long way away from me and I'm gonna rotate 180 degrees towards me and I'm just gonna push forward. It's super simple, that's all I'm doing. It's exactly like the left to right practice, except it's actually quite a bit harder. <laughs> a lot of this is just you getting over the nerves of having it flying towards you. Once you get comfortable just flying forward and back, rotate it towards you and just practice hovering. Just try to keep it in the same place. And then maybe pick a spot on the ground and fly to it and then fly back. All your controls are reversed, so it's gonna take a little bit of practice. It's gonna take you a bunch of batteries. It might take you a week to get comfortable flying the drone precisely with it facing towards you. Just remember, get nervous, show it your butt, make sure the GPS is on and don't overreact with the controls. Now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna take it up really high. This is testing your own limits. It's getting you comfortable flying with the drone at the edge of your vision. It's gonna be a lot smaller, but we're not gonna freak out, right? Okay, fire it up. We're gonna take it up nice and high. Within legal limits, we're not gonna endanger anybody. We're just gonna take it up nice and high. Don't go up too high, too fast. At first, just get it over your head. And then once you feel completely comfortable, just kind of hovering and flying around, turning it side to side. At that altitude, raise it up higher. You're doing the same practice as you did before, it's just now it's over your head. 
flying side to side, hovering towards you. Fly it up nice and high so you can get nice, good views for when you attach a camera to this thing. Up next, the figure eight. This is gonna teach you to do nice, smooth movements. It's gonna have the plane flying towards you and away from you sideways. It's gonna be taking everything we've worked on so far and putting it all together to create nice, fluid video. This is gonna be really helpful if things ever go wrong. You need to be able to navigate it precisely and accurately. So, I'm gonna start out with just side to side movements, but just trying to make it nice and smooth instead of stopping at each end I'm going to kind of round out the corners and then once I have nice smooth just side to side motion make sure you have plenty of distance between it and yourself I'm going to start flying it a little bit towards me instead of just turning around and facing side to side it's a little towards me nice smooth arcs whenever you can until you can get it flying directly towards you and then steering away from you. Remember, if you get nervous, just go to your safe place with the butt towards you, come in for a landing. And the last step is kind of up to you. Fly in some different places, get out of your backyard, repeat these same practices. Find an empty soccer field or a baseball field, some place where there aren't people, but there's lots of open space. Just so you're familiar with different environments, different times of day, different lighting that might distract you. Fly where there might be a few people around, because at some point, a little boy is gonna see your drone, he's gonna come running up to you. Or maybe there'll be birds or dogs. You need to get your nerves up. Technically flying in these places isn't going to be any different, but you're going to be different because you're going to be excited. You're going to get some adrenaline going. There's going to be weird trees and weird, weird winds that you're not used to. Take time. Build to it one step at a time. And when you get nervous, take a break. It's going to take you weeks and weeks before you have the muscle memory and the control of your nerves to be able to fly these things safely. I suggest leaving the camera off. Leave that stupid screen off if you have a first person view. Don't even use it until you get comfortable with all this stuff. It's just a distraction. If you want to see some good drone reviews, we have some coming up, so subscribe to see that. We're also going to have lots of photography, videography, and drone content coming up. Share with your friends, like, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.